Okay, now we're on to uh, problem number five. This is a uh, it's an implicit differentiation problem, so it's like sort of differentiation combined with chain rule. So uh, x, y, and z are related by this formula here. Um, now, when you have a function like this, or when you have an expression like this, this implicitly defines z as a function of x and y. Or you could say something similar, it defines x as a function of y and z. But the interpretation we're taking is that this implicitly defines z as a function of y and x. And so we want to find what is the derivative of z with respect to x, or the partial derivative of z with respect to x. And we're just going to take the derivative of both sides of this with respect to x. Okay, so the partial derivative of x cosine y with respect to x is just cosine y. Okay, now the partial derivative of z sine y with respect uh, to x is going to be the partial derivative of z with respect to x times sine y. And on the right-hand side, the partial derivative of 3 with respect to uh, x is just equal to 0 because that's a constant. Okay, so let's, let's think through this. Um, x and y are the independent variables. Z depends on x and y. So in particular, y does not depend on x. So as far as x is concerned, y is a constant. So the derivative of x cosine y with respect to x is just cosine y. The derivative of z sine y with respect to x is going to be the derivative of z with respect to x times sine of y because again as far as y is as far as uh, x is concerned y is a constant okay and so now we want to evaluate this at the point uh, x y z equals 3 pi over 3 square root of 3 okay so cosine y cosine of pi over 3 so if i if i plug those values in here this is cosine pi over 3 plus the partial derivative of z with respect to x times sine of pi over 3. And this is equal to 0. OK, so let's think about this cosine of pi over 3. Uh, cosine of pi over 3, that's cosine of 60 degrees. So this is 1 half plus the partial derivative of z with respect to x sine of pi over 3. What is sine of pi over 3? Well, again, that's sine of 60 degrees, and this is the square root of 3 over 2. We set that equal to 0. We can multiply both sides by 2 now and say solve for the partial derivative of z with respect to x. That's going to be equal to minus 1 over the square root of 3. And that is answer choice B. So again, all we did was we just took the derivative of both sides with respect to x. Again, this is very similar to implicit, differen to implicit differentiation that you saw from Calc 1. The only thing that you have to keep in mind now is that x and y are both independent variables. So y does not depend on x, but z depends on x, and z depends on y in this particular problem. We'll, and when we get to problem 6, we'll do something different. But for this problem, z is a function of x and y. X and Y are independent. We want to find the partial derivative of Z with respect to X. So we just take the partial derivative uh, with respect to X on both sides and then evaluate it at the point 3 pi over 3 square root of 3. And we solve for the partial derivative of Z uh, with respect to X. That's equal to minus 1 over the square root of 3.